where did Paul get the information he put into his New Testament letters? So if you have Jesus dying at 30, Paul becomes a Christian here about 32 AD, meets with the guys in Jerusalem at 35, but he's saying at, right at 32, he received something. Who did he receive it from? Well, he, he claims in Galatians that his experience of the Lord was direct as a result of the appearance. But the theology that goes with it is what he heard preached. You know, he was persecuting that at one time. He was saying, I don't believe that. I think those guys are dead wrong. And he, and he was arresting people and, and supporting people who were martyred like Stephen when it took place. But that's evidence that people before Paul got there two years later were already preaching this kind of a message. Yeah, in fact, and this is very, very important to appreciate, when Paul has that appearance of Jesus and the Lord says to him, it is I who you're persecuting, he has to have a grid against which to understand that appearance. And the grid that he has that, he, that allows him to understand that appearance is the preaching of the apostles and the claim the tomb was empty, Jesus is raised from the dead, he's alive, he is the Messiah, he is the Lord. Now Paul didn't believe that until Jesus appeared to him. When Jesus appeared to him, he went, oops, I made a mistake. His whole worldview flipped. And in the midst of that, uh, we get we get the uh, emergence of probably you know one of the most influential obviously figures of the first century in the early Christian movement. 